In this video, we are going to see how to get Slack notifications for new JWT form submissions. So let's say that every time a new form is submitted, and here we have used a JWT form, which is a form builder application. You can use any other form builder application as well. So the form is submitted. Let's say it's a contact form. So you have received the details of the user. Now you want to send those details to your team sitting on Slack, which is again a social messaging service. And here you want to update them so that you know they can follow up later. For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application will be JotForm and your action application will be Slack. Now, how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply click on sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. And as I do that, here we have reached all applications page. Since we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software, let's click on Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, we have a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, my objective is get Slack notifications for new JWT form submission. So let's say that every time a form is submitted. So we have got the details of the user. This is a contact form. So now I have got the details and I'm sharing this with my team so that further they can follow up with the lead. So let's click on create and as we do that here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events one is trigger another one is action triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works trigger is when this happens action is do this basically action here is the response of your trigger application now as per this integration my trigger application will be jot form so let's click on this and the trigger event here would be new response so here you can see that we have received a webhook URL. So I'm going to copy this and what we are supposed to do. So he, it is asking me to open my form in the form builder and click on the settings tab. Go to the integration, search for webhook and paste the above URL in the add webhook field. So now I'm going to take you to my JWT form account. So here I already have created a form. The name is contact form. You can create your own form by clicking on this orange tab. So now I'm going to go to edit form now here you can see that i have the following fields first name last name then email address and phone number now we are going to go to settings and again on the left hand side we have integrations now here we are going to look for webhooks here it is and here this particular url that we have just received i'm going to copy this once again and paste this over here let's click on complete integration so once this is done, you can see that you have successfully created your integration. Let's click on finish. So now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Now it is saying that do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response, which basically means that now I have to fill up the form. So for this, I'm going to go to preview form. Now this link, let's click on this. So it has opened in a new tab and now I'm going to fill up this form. Let's say the name here is smart user. And then the email address is smart user at publitudes.com. And here we have the phone number. This let's click on submit. So here we can see that the form has been submitted. Going back to Public Connect, let's see if we have received the API response. And yes, here we have received the same. So this is our webhook URL. Then as I take you down, this is the username, submission ID. Then again, here we have the first name, last name, email address, and phone number. So once we have received this information, what is my objective? I want to send a message on Slack telling my team about this new user. So I'm going to choose my action application as Slack. Let's click on this. And the action event here would be to send channel message. Let's click on connect. So here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Slack account. I'm going to click on add new connection. Now let's click on connect with Slack. So here it is asking me for the token type. I have already logged into my Slack account and I'm going to use this token type as user. Why? Because whenever I'm sending a message to my team, it may or may not contain some videos, URLs, documents, etc. So for these reasons, we prefer to choose user. Let's click on save. 
so here pabli connect is requesting permission to access the pabli slack workspace so i'm going to click on allow this is the workspace that i have created in slack here you can see that the authorization has been successful which basically means that slack is now connected with pabli connect and now we have to fill in this information the channel message image url etc to understand this let me first take you to my slack account so here you can see so this is my slack account i have chosen this workspace and this here is the workspace you can see that there are various channels created here and recently i have created a channel the name is jot form submissions you can create your own channel by clicking on this add channels tab and then you can add a few members now i'm going to go back to pabli connect and here i'm going to first select the channel so here it is jot form submissions it is here now what is the message that i wish to send to my team dear team we have received a new lead now let's add the details the first thing that we wish to add is the name so how do i do it i'm going to map this information what is mapping i have this information already in the previous step and i'm just going to retrieve it here so i'm going to click on the first previous response and then this here is the first name let's give a space go back to the previous response and this here is the last name then once this is done we want the email address so let's map the same again let's go to the previous response and here is the email address then we need the mobile number so i'm going to write mobile number and as i go to the previous step this here is the mobile number now i'm going to write regards so basically this is how every time a new lead is received through the form submission your team will be shared the details so here once this is done now you can add the other information if you want to add any image you can add the url here text here bot name bot icon etc why have i mapped this information so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration if i had written this manually then it would have never taken the new data that is it now i'm going to go down click on save and send this request and as i do that here you can see that you know i have received the api response which says that now a message must be sent to my team sitting on slack let's go and check the same so yes here is the message this basically means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so i'm going to go back to jot form and here i'm going to fill up another form let's say this time the first name is test last name is new then we have the email address which is test new at pabli tutes.com and then we have the phone number and now i'm going to click on submit so as we do that what should happen a message should be received on slack let's go and check the same and yes you can see we have received a new lead these are the details test new test new at pavlitudes.com this is the mobile number and regards so i hope this is absolutely clear to you let's go back to pavli connect and understand what we have done so this is an extremely easy two step integration process where our trigger application is jot form the event is new response and our action application is slack the event is send channel message I hope you are absolutely clear with this. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.